First thing we need to do is take this back panel off. Uh, if this were not a stacker, on some of them, it's easy to do by tilting it, depending upon the opening in the bottom here. Um, this one has a fairly decent opening, but we have better access from the back here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, up out of here. Okay, so you're going to have a certain amount of residual water in this. And so when you release this clamp here, you can tell if your line is plugged up by removing this hose here. And then you can see that water comes out of the pump, so the pump is not plugged up. And if you blow in here, you can hear, you can hear that's clear there. So what we're going to do is disconnect it from the sump, clean out the sump, and then check the impeller. Okay, so we can look in here, and we can inspect the impeller. And what we're looking for is no clogs and a nice kind of smooth action on this impeller when we spin it around and this one seems to be okay it's got nice smooth action basically this is a magnetic motor you want to feel the magnetic action of that impeller going around take a look in here and you can see there's no clogs there this is the sump. We can see that sump is looking kind of plugged up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it, take it loose from the main drain on the bottom of the tub, and then clean it out that way. You could probably get by by just cleaning it out here, but we're going to do a little bit more thorough job on that one. Okay, so this one actually had some water backed up. So we had water backed up. You can feel in here and you can feel the bottom of the tub. You can feel around in there and feel you got any debris in there. And so this is basically it and it's pretty, pretty well plugged up. This is probably gonna be the problem, the reason why they got rid of this machine. And so basically there's like a there's like a filter in here that needs to come out of here and then we can clean the filter out and clean the whole thing out. Okay, so this is like a baffle. This is like a baffle, it sits in here and this is what slows the stuff down from going directly into the impeller. So, and you can see there's quite a bit of gunk in here. Coins, hair bands, yeah. Looks like even rocks. Right, we'll clean that out back together and should be good to go. Thanks okay, so there it is. It's, it's, it's actually a baffle in there. You can see it's that white plastic thing. It's a baffle from keeping the debris going directly in the pump and pillar. And this baffle actually had some, some gloves. It had a glove basically blocking it. Hairband, coins. Yeah, that would cause problems. Okay, so when you're putting this thing on, I usually assemble this part here together. I take this clamp off and put the screw-on clamps. Uh, you gotta be careful with the cheap Harbor Freight clamps because basically they're a one-time use. These larger ones are a little bit more heavier duty and uh, hopefully they, don't, they won't uh, come apart when I'm tightening up. The smaller ones, the really smaller assortment that Harbor Freight has, basically they're like half the size of this. They will tighten up once, and then you can't get them undone. So, um, but yeah, if you're doing a water pump job, it's a good idea to have some nice hose clamps. And that way you don't have to try and reach under there and squeeze those, uh, those clamps there. So we just put it back together, and away we go. If you need any help, I get phone consultations for 25 bucks. So uh, 
You can call me 707-443-8347. And thanks again for watching.